Welcome and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to write an example of a research article, a research paper, a professional report or a professional document that you may wish to write. So I'm just going to give out the layout of how you can present your work. Let's get started. So here you can write the title of your article. So in this case, we have research article example and then we have the author name and then here where we have begin document and end document this is where now you write your work so we have one section here which says introduction but we don't want introduction to come on the first page we want the first page to be a title page so what you do is you come here after make title and then you do backslash and then you type title page and then when you compile and the title page remains and the introduction is now on a new page where we can now start our document here on the title page you can put whatever you have to put if it's the name of your school or the name of your article whatever you have to put on your cover page you put on the first page so here now we can start setting up our work so the first thing first is we have this section introduction and under introduction let's try to write up something so we can say this is the introduction to my article okay so we can just copy this and paste so that we just have a rough overview of how our document will look like so we have an introduction as a section there and then we can also have maybe a background so we can say another section or a subsection of the introduction is let's say background so we do backslash subsection so subsection we have background there and under background we can say this is the background over and then we can do the same here we just paste we will compile and now we can have maybe another subsection we can call this a research gap so again we say backslash subsection and this is a research gap so we compile here we are and then we can create another subsection which we're going to call objectives so we say subsection and then we put objectives so maybe these objectives you would want them to be itemized so maybe you have objective one objective two so if you want to itemize your objectives what you do is you say backslash and then you say begin open curly brackets and then you say itemize so this is begin itemize and end itemize and here where it says item this is where you write now your item so you can say my first objective is so we can copy this let's just try to recompile and see what we are getting so as you can see now my first objective is itemized so we can do the second objective we recompile it's second and then we can also have the third so you have your objectives itemized i can also write another subsection and then we call it m in curly brackets there and then you say the m of this you write your m there we will compile this is now our first section let's try to put a table of content so we come back here after title page and then we do backslash table of contents as one word without leaving spaces the advantage of overleaf is you just write table of contents and it's automatically generated and i want this now to just be on its own page so i can do backslash and then i say new page so new page will allow us to have the table of content in one page and our sections now will start in the next page so maybe after the table of content we would want to have maybe an abstract so you can do backslash and then for abstract you say begin abstract so there you are begin abstract and end abstract and then here this is where now you can write your abstract so this is my abstract You recompile there and there you have it and an abstract obviously we would want it to have its own page so we can just say backslash new page 
and then we will compile I think let's make our abstract look at least a little bit longer than that so we can copy but anyway it's just for demonstration sake and then we have our abstract set up there so at least now our report is taking shape so as you can see it's very easy to write your work in LaTeX or in Overleaf because all you need is just to be inserting your data and organizing of the data is automatically done for you I'm going to include two more sections so I'm going to call this section as a related works and then we can just say related research work we can copy this then just paste it and compile so we now have section 2 we do another section we do backslash section then this will be our main body so in our main body the other things that I would want to add are the figures and the tables because we would want to see how it will come out from the list of figures or the list of tables so here we can just say this is the main body and then maybe we can also now include the figure so we say backslash begin figure and end figure then we upload the figure so we come here we upload any figure from here okay so just any figure for demonstration sake so our figure is triple remarks when we recompile there okay so our figure here is not showing why because we haven't included the package for figures so we say use package graphics then we try to recompile and there you have it we can try to adjust the size of our figure we say width equal to backslash line width we recompile there and then here we can put edge but all the same there isn't enough space here for it to fit here so it will still come back to this page even when we recompile okay so what we just want to do now is to add the list of figures to this document and the list of tables but we're not going to post tables so we can just come back here and then we see here we had put list of figures and list of tables after compiling our figure now is showing here we can try to rename it so we call our figure triple integral we recompile so here we have it so if we add the list of tables as well so they will be automatically coming here no need to manually insert the list of tables or list of figures okay so maybe we can make the main body a little bit bigger so here what we can do is we copy the main body and paste we recompile then the other thing we can do now is the section for the conclusion and we say this is our conclusion we copy that and paste so there you have it this is our conclusion so for more videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.